first off, I want to do I want to do one here. Uh, Mike suggested that I do one here locally so that we we know if this is a, this is one that we were going after we didn't get, but it's a good example to kind of break down what I want you to be looking for. We've got seven steps when it comes to comping: location, timeline, age, size floor plan, uh, condition, and potential. And we're gonna go through all that as we go through these comps because it's really important. Now listen, this is not rocket science, okay? I'm gonna make this as simple as possible going through these seven steps so that you feel comfortable getting this ARV, getting that after repair value, getting that fixed up value so that you know that you're going confidently into the offers that you're gonna be giving to your um, your uh, property owners because that's, that's key. I mean, it starts from, I mean, look, it starts from the top down. You have to understand what is the potential of that deal so that you can start working backwards and understanding what's it gonna to take to get that property to that price? How much is it going to take? Where do you have to be at? How much profit is the investor looking to get? All of these things are absolutely critical when you are comping these properties. So we're going to pop this thing up. All right. I'm going to show you this deal. <clears throat> We were going after this. We missed out on this deal for one reason and one reason only. They ended up um, sending this to, uh, or um, just quick claiming this to one of their family members. But look at this. Look at what, I just want you guys to see this, right? What do you see here? What, what is it? What is just sticking out? Look at all these empty pools. Oh boy, that's nice. You can't afford to keep your pool going. You can't afford to keep it up and running. You don't want to resurface it. Your pool equipment broke down. You don't have the funds to take care of it. Oh, now we're talking. I mean, you literally can look at these. You could you could uh, go here and pull all these um, with your deal machine app and uh, get all of them, but go ahead. So are you on step number one? Are you looking at location? Location, okay. Well, I'm just, this is just me being, being uh, uh, excited about what I'm seeing. So first of all, I look here and yeah, I guess it is part of location because I always like looking at the aerial and seeing what's going on in this neighborhood. All right. I like looking and seeing, okay, where is this at? And what I like is see this, this is beautiful. In Phoenix, we have these beautiful square areas. I'm going to stay within this area and you can see right here is, uh, looks like townhomes, right? So I need to make sure that I'm staying Staying with, oh no, these are single family. They're just a little bit tighter. You can see that these are newer. So I don't want to use these as comps because they're going to be newer uh, properties. I want to keep the age within, you know, 10 years about. All right, so I'm looking at this deal. Now look at this, okay? It's showing that it's owner occupied. They've owned it for 21 years. It was built in 1961. Now guys, when I tell you go after older properties, I mean it. There's more potential here because these are older properties that need some love. All right, so the location of this is in an area that is it built in 1960s. So I'm gonna find some really good comps here. So I'm gonna go to the comps and I'm gonna go to both here because I wanna get all of them. I don't want just public record, I want the MLS, I want everything. And then what I want you guys to do, if you can, I want you to set this for 90 days back, which is uh, November-ish, right? So we're gonna go November 16th, maybe it's the 7th, whatever it is, okay? Okay, we got that. Um, and then, okay, so we are 90 days back. See how the square footage is staying within the parameters here? That's beautiful. They're pulling within a half mile radius, which is good. So look, scroll down here, look at all these comps. Now, listen, there is a major street um, just north of us that's within the, these are all within this box. See these major streets that box us in here? That's what I mean by location. The only other thing that I want to do is I want to put a max on this, a 1975 for the year built, right? I want to get rid of those newer builds that we saw just from the aerials and look at all these comps. I mean, it's perfect. Look at this. If I zoom in here, look at this. The next door neighbor's a comp. Look at that. Are you kidding me? 4041 West Gardenia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this property. And the beautiful thing about uh, PropStream is it gives you the MLS data. We can look at these pictures. Now look at this. This is 228. 
Is this the best remodel you've ever seen? No, this is just, this is dated. The cabinets are dated. The, the, the countertops are dated. The appliances are dated. This is next door and it's sold, uh, in, it sold for 228. This is phenomenal. And when we look at the MLS details, it took 52 days and it probably went faster than that. It was probably just pending for a while. So 52 days, it sold at 228 and it's the exact, is it the exact same model? Oh my gosh, this would be be perfect oh no where'd we go um there it is um we are 1448 and 1440 it's the exact same model we've got the same comps here this is beautiful this is an easy one guys i'm telling you i softballed this one in i really did but uh it's easy. I mean, 250, 260. I would probably put this thing at 265. You know what I mean? If that one went 230 next door, not remodeled, you put this thing remodeled with a pool, you're getting 265, 270 all day long. Now let's look at what I do here. All right. This is important because we're looking at the condition of the property. I want to look at this. Okay. We know their timeline. We, I mean, our timeline was we went back um, uh, 90 days, right? I want you to go back 90 days. We looked at the age. We put it in that age bracket so that it's all older properties. We looked at the size, exact same size here. We looked at the floor plan. We know the floor plan. We just saw the floor plan. It's the exact same one and uh, the condition of this property. We found out the condition. It was dated, but look, the, ro the roof's a little bit older, but doesn't need to be replaced. You look here, you can see that that is an air conditioner that um, is not in too bad a shape. It looks like it's a newer air conditioner, so that's great. These look like newer windows. So um, I'm saying if it's 1,400 square feet, I gotta do the pool. The pool's gonna cost me anywhere from five to 10K. That's a diving pool, I can tell because it's an older pool. And back in the day, they, they did diving pools, so it's more surface area. So we gotta play that out. So I'm gonna put 10,000. I'm gonna put an estimated uh, fix-up budget on this property at about, um, at about 40,000. Okay. So let's, let's break down the numbers. Let's do this exactly how I do this every single day with our team. All right. Let's say that it goes for 275. Okay. Mike, can you do the uh, numbers for me? Do you have your calculator? Yep. Okay. 275 times 0. 0.84 is 275 times 0. 0.84. Mm-hmm. 231, okay, beautiful. And then we're subtracting from that, what did I say, 40? 40,000? 40, yeah. 40,000 takes us to 191 is what I would sell that deal at. 191, and that'd be a smoking deal compared to the 228 that was sold on the neighbor, right? So uh, we're at 191 there. I would be at probably around the 150, 160 range, uh, 160 range for an offer price or 25 under that. About 166 would be the highest that I'd go. And I think we were in negotiations. We were about to lock this up for $164,000, uh, but they ended up um, quick claim deeding it over to their uh, family. So there you go. I've got one here that is not in my market. It is not a softball deal. Uh, it is in um, California. So let's take a look at this. So, I, <clears throat> so Brent, real quick. So when you're pulling comps, right? Yep. Those first five steps, you know, you're, you, when you're pulling comps on, you know, uh, uh, on TTP data, yep. you're pulling for location, yep. right? Timeline, three months back, yep. 90 days, mm -hmm. the age of the property, the size of the property, yep. and then apples to apples for the floor plan. You know, yeah, I'm looking story, for something story. that if it's one story, I don't want to comp it with two stories. If it's a ranch, I don't want to comp it with something that's on a tight, tight, tight lot size. You know what I mean? I want to keep it you know, clean. Got it. And that's yep. what actually gives you your comps. Yeah. Okay. And then the D and, and then the condition, you know, what's the, what's the condition, how much repairs does it need? And what is the potential? What is the ARV? All right. So let's look at this deal. Uh, this is for Dale out in California. He's got this um, property here. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He hits me with another one that has an empty pool. Oh my gosh, man, I love it. So first thing I do, I like just taking a look. I like taking a look and seeing what's going on in the neighborhood, what's going on with this property. It looks like it's on, um, you know, an established neighborhood. It's an older property and look at this thing. All right, I love the look at this. I love this. 
Look at look look at the way that this looks. Look at look at what this tells us. Look at the story that this picture tells us as we're looking at this. Look at the grass. Is there sprinklers running? Is there somebody taking care of it? No, it's dead grass. This property was built in 1955, all right? Is there a carport? Is there a garage? No, it looks like they probably converted it here at some point. Maybe that's original, but we're gonna dig into it. Uh, no, no, the garage is here. But look at this, look at the paint going, look at the windows, look at the look at the, the roof. I mean, this is, a pro this is looking good to me, all right? I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, there's a lot of signs here that are telling me of distress. All all right, so you got the pool. So let's look at this thing. Let's pull out a little bit. This is owned by 11 years and 11 months, and it was a cash purchase. So what is that telling us? Let's see. Let's just see if they pulled out any money on this. Okay, so they originally bought it, but they did take out a loan here in uh, 2011. So they've got, uh, they owe about 50,000. So the reason I do that, guys, is I want to make sure that there's equity. Right. If they just pulled out money like six months ago and they sucked out all the equity, I always want to look. If somebody bought it cash, where's their mortgage? Did they pull out money on this thing? And they did. They pulled out forty-eight thousand dollars. Now, did they pull it out to do repairs to the house? Doesn't look like it, but maybe they did. You never know. So those are the things going through my head right now. All right. Now I'm looking at this thing. They bought it uh, a long time ago. They bought it for fifty-five thousand in two thousand nine. Fantastic. They bought it as an REO sale. So they bought it as is. REO stands for real estate owned. And that's when a bank forecloses on a property and uh, then they relist it and sell that property. So let's take a look at this property here. All right, we're gonna go to both. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to 90 days. Okay, I'm looking at this thing, 90 days, boom. Um, I want to, we've got some good comps in this area. Look at this, look at this. This is sitting in there. We've got some good solid comps here. I wanna go property type. I wanna make sure that we're just looking at single family, right? We're going down. We're looking at floor plan. That's part of the floor plan one. We're looking at the solds. I actually wanna add some actives and some pendings and see if there's any uh, stuff on the market that is for sale, just to see what the competition is. And this was built in 1951. So I'm gonna go up to 1965. We'll just go 15 years or 14 years just to, just to make sure we filter out any of the newer properties there. Okay, so now we've got, this is really interesting guys. We've got it kind of, you know, we've got some good comps here, but they, they're, they, they're all over the place a little bit, right? You got a 315 active and you've got a 218 sold. So what is going on with this, right? So I wanna look in here. The number one comp that they pulled was right here. On the street just behind it, it sold for 275. Actually, it's active on the market right now for 295. All right. So let's take a look at this thing and look at the condition. All right. Similar size. Um, it looks like it's in okay condition. We're not getting the best pictures, but it's it's still dated. It's still sitting there. You know, it's still um, it's lived in. Let's just say that it's definitely lived in. Okay. So that one's on the market at 295. Now let's look and see how long. Oh, it's pending. Beautiful. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. In 21 days, this property went under contract in that condition at 295. That is fantastic. So you wonder, okay, if this was in really good condition, are we getting into those 350s? Are we getting in to the that you know 325, 330 price range? I would assume so for sure, especially if it's sold for um, that fast in that condition. Um, wow. On one street over. That's fantastic. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that deal that is right next to it. And we found it. It's right here. It's sitting right here. Now, number two here, this one here sold public record sold. This is probably a foreclosure at 212. Interesting. And um, you've got, and this one says it was only on the market two days before it went pending. So maybe um, it's actually, they're just counting the days that it's been under contract as well. You've got a 310 here. I mean, a 320 here. So I think, you know, with this property, I think it's got the potential um, to go in that here it's saying 275, but I think it's got the potential to go 325. Um, if this one here is, is pending at 295, once you fix it up. Now it has a pool. All right, so I'm gonna go 325 on that. It does have a pool. 
It's got uh, it's got a garage. It is well. Let's see. Let's make sure we're getting the, ah. That's the difference right there. It's twelve hundred. This is fourteen hundred square feet. So it's two hundred square feet bigger. So maybe once it's fixed up, we're right there in the mix at three hundred thousand. You know, this is a little bit bigger. It's got more potential. Still has four bed, two bath, but it's got a little bit more room there. I'm gonna push that, uh, Dale. I would say three to three fifteen is the price. Um, and so let's break that down. Let's look at this thing. Um, so let's go 300 just to keep it simple. All right, let's, let's just err on the side that it's, you know, beautiful. You know what? Let's go 315. I'm going to go 315. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this because it has a pool. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, eraser. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to go 315 once the pool's done, but it's going to cost us some money to do it. So um, get rid of that. So 315, uh, that is 1,200 square feet with a pool in California in that price range. I'd probably keep that at 40,000 for the fix up. Let's times that by 0.84, where are we at, Mike? 264, 6. 264, okay. And then let's subtract the 40 off that. Puts us at wholesale price at Two hundred and four uh, twenty-four is the wholesale price. Dale, buy, get that locked up around two hundred, buddy. And I think that's what he texted me. Let me see. Uh, I think he said that he was going after two hundred. But that's the numbers, guys. That's what I go at. That's a, that's a good deal there. And uh, solid, solid, solid comps. So that's great. That's that's a that's a great deal there. So get it locked up for two hundred thousand. Boom, and you are rocking and rolling. It's a uh, 20 plus K deal. Maybe even be able to push it a little bit. Just depends on uh, how many actives are in the market right now because things are getting swallowed up. It is a hot, hot, hot market. So let's, let's uh, yeah. Make sure, guys, remember, every single day we put out the absolute best action plan, the best instruction on planet Earth when it comes to real estate investing. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Every single day you're going to get a jolt. Hit that bell so that you get that alarm that, that really pops off and lets you know when the new videos are being released. It's going to give you that shot of dopamine that you need to keep going every single day.